We are outlaws. How we was above the law, above morality. You'll damn us all. May the wind be at your back. Good fortune touch your hand. May the cards lay out astray. All from your command. That's the way. That's the way it is. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. You can't exactly beat it out of the now, can you? <laughs> there ain't nothing left, mister. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. Say you stare into the fire long enough, you can see the whole world pass by. Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Come on, all of you. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry, we ain't got long. Hurry. We just got plenty of time, Micah. We all need to have a little chat. Blacklong, you're back. Hooray. <coughs> I just saw Agent Milton, Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that, you rats. All of you. Seems old Micah was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. <laughs> and you believe him, Blacklung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No, it damn well doesn't. Dutch, think. Dutch, be practical now. Dutch! John! You left me. You left me to die. My boy, I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't... You! I didn't have a choice. Left me! All of you, you pick your side now because this is over. All oh, them years, Dutch, for this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No, you be quiet, Mr. Bell, and put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming, fast! Now! Who amongst you is with me? And who is betraying me? Well, I'm here. Think. Think for yourself. He's lying. He's lying! Put your guns down! God damn it! Move! You ready, John? Yeah.
Stay with me, Arthur! Those bastards left me for dead! Seems that's what they do now! Come on, Arthur! With me! Michael was the rat, John! Milton told me! <coughs> we should have killed him months ago! Let's go, Arthur! Push! Arthur, just up ahead! <coughs> Are you all right, Arthur? I'm with you. Keep going! Hey! Hold it right there! Keep going! Stop where you are! What about the money? It's in there! There's no time! We'll have to come back! They're right on us, Arthur! Come on! Dead or alive, you understand? Abigail. Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie. The Copperhead Land. Thank you, brother. I want you to not look back. Like I said. the money. Abigail gave me the key. I head down there. I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Uh, maybe you're right, but... Uh, you want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. Arthur, just make the call. See you around, John Marston. Be safe. Dutch. My God. Come and get me, you bastards.
turn weak, Dutch!
unfinished business. Did you, Black Lung? Uh, I knew you wanted the money as much as any of us. Sure. But I also wanted you. You rat. Dead. Greedy snakes always get killed first. Why are you still alive? Bye-bye, Arthur. <laughs> Did you, Black Lung? Uh, I knew you wanted the money as much as any of us. Sure. But I also wanted you. You red dead. <laughs> Greedy snakes always get killed first. Why are you still alive? Still making some... <laughs> oh, shit. What I got and done. Looks like you lost, Black Lung. I didn't lose. <laughs> that winning? I stopped you. And I told everyone you were a rat. That's winning enough for me. Mind! 
Oh, Arthur. You damn fools. I told you, Dutch. That he'd come back here to rob us. Like I said he would. I came to take what's mine. You rat. I ain't no rat, black Do lung. I, my God. You're the rat. Now, Molly Dutch, it's him. Him! Kill him! Not Molly! Now, Miss Grimshaw! Not even cold. <laughs> You're dying, Black Lung. And you've gone crazy. Let him damn us all, Dutch. <laughs> Come on, Dutch. You gotta go. Dutch. Let's go. I never... Dutch! Well... I must say, Arthur... That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The well, one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shoot. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should have just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in... in Strawberry. What do you know about Strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's a moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy? Sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother. With your books. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel. 
Boy Calloway and the men from the moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pa. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. Strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. Why don't you pull up just here? I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Hello, sir. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. As long as it's honest, and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Yeah, my wife and I, and our boy. We was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about Got it. a wagon by any chance? Sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now, if you like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. No, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. <laughs> Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. <laughs> we loaded her up pretty good, Milton. Good. Are you ride slow now? Oh, 
something? West past Owen Chila, then follow the road north. Okay. This must be it. Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. 
It's long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We'll all work. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, <laughs> when's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, these supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here. Take that horse if you need it. That's my damn wagon! There, there. You want your wagon back? Huh? Uh. Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie, work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife... Even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. You seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Let's give you another go, girl.
damn thing. Give me him. Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, <laughs> Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John Jim? Extra hard. Hey! Hey! Get over here! Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say. Is that your family getting in uh, the wagon up there? Ah, believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? That, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kinda... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You hey. are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Oh. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Well... You know, up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. 
The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything. The ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Now, just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Yeah, but most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, just sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. That's how it goes. Now we're talking. Almost got a pail full. Hey, Pa. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your pa, yeah. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all That's gotta earn our deal. keep. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. How old are you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got...
got? I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's got to be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just... Try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. Ugh. Hold on a moment. Think your mother's hiding somewhere? Laughing at us? You almost got me. Slinging to shit shoveling. Great. I reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want? Same as I've been? Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. some coffee on. I'm back, girl. Where are my other hands? Damn it, Abe. Abe? Mr. Geddes. I said, Abe, yes, where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Geddes, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost. Possibly more, a mare about to full, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. 
both of you. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. I mean, since you showed up, runaway horses been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much... I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck! Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, hmm? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. So, uh... Is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Oh. When Mr. Geddes goes into town... Well, it ain't exactly for, uh... Business. Oh. Uh... Okay, then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Well, <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. That's Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Oh, hey, easy now. You done? Come on. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. <sighs> That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. There's a boy. I'm gonna take him out first. Burn some of this heat off of him. I'll be in the corral, Ben. Some energy? Show me then. Come on. Let it all out of you. Let's get a lather up. Come on! All right, good boy. You ain't gonna give us no trouble now. All right. He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there. Go nice and slow. Stay calm. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony. But I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh. Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich. Way richer than Pa. And he's got all these hired guns. Out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. 
I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You, Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thank you, Mr. Milton. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. My God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah. We we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm I'm busy. Uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. <laughs> <laughs> 